what's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. Well, I God is with you, and this situation of yours is going to change. But this show is here to bring hope to the hopeless, to prove to you that there is a solution. Now, on the air with Bishop Joshua, the showdown of faith. today will bless your life, wherever you may be. And today I am going to reveal to you the reason, the roots of your problems. You are going to learn today what is behind your problems. I am not alone. I have pastors, the wives of the pastors, that will help me to help you. Nor is going to receive from they are um, hence the problems and we are going to receive it Nori, from these people that are live they are live together with me it's a live helpline to prove it to you i'm going to ask them just to raise their hands wave to me you see they are live it's not a video or pre-recorded show we are live here to help you and Nori, tell us how can they Call the helpline team and how can they connect with us right away? Well, the number that the viewers can dial right now is 1 888 332 4141. When you do call that number, you won't be prompted to many different options, but you will speak to the live counselors as you just saw. And once I have your name, the problem that you're facing on a prayer card just like this, it will be placed here inside of the holy oil. You can also send your prayer request through text message. That number is 1-888-312-4141. Send in your picture, the picture of your loved ones. You can also feel free to prepare a glass of water, a cup of water, and set it close to your television because before the end of the program, Bishop Joshua will pray for all of you. That's right. How you pray and this evil that is upon your life will be removed. I said today, I am going to reveal to you what is behind your problems. Addictions, insomnia, anxiety, depression, divorce. This is your second divorce or your third divorce. I'm going to reveal to you what is behind these suicidal thoughts that you have. Behind these suicidal thoughts, curses, bad luck, fights in the family. All these problems that you are facing are caused by the evil spirit. Yes, evil spirit. The Lord Jesus Christ said... That the thief, the thief is the devil, is the evil spirit, does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. Destroy. This evil spirit doesn't know how to do something good. The evil spirit doesn't know how to do good because it came uh, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's why you have seen so many tragedies in your life. So many tragedies in your family. You just had a stroke. You slept and you fell. Now you broke your leg, your arm. You are always breaking your bones, parts of your life. You had one, two, three, six surgeries. These tragedies are caused by the evil spirit. On top of that, car accident, 
always tragedies happen to you. It is a curse. It comes from hey, hey, here. From the evil spirit. They are the ones that came to kill, steal, and to destroy. Why does this keep happening to our family? First it was my grandfather, then my aunt, and now I just received news that my cousin was in a car accident and she didn't survive. I know that accidents happen every day. That's just part of life, but I find it so strange how they all died not only in car accidents, but the cause of their accidents were all the same. Mechanical issues. There is no way this is normal. I even asked other family members if they thought that there might be a curse on our family. But of course, they just laughed at me and said, Curses aren't real. Things just happen. It's life. But I know that's not true. Curses are real, and I know our family has been cursed. These people here had the same problem. They had this curse tragedies in their lives. I want you to watch their story. This young man was dead, in coma, half dead. Don't think it is normal. It is a curse. Tragedies after tragedies. It's not coincidence. Rather, it is a curse. Car accidents. Every year, an average of 6 million car accidents happen across the United States, causing more injuries and death than any other type of personal injury. Even the most careful drivers run the risk of accidents, while they navigate among so many others on the road who are distracted, reckless, or under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Thousands of lives and billions of dollars are wasted because of these tragic events. Let's take a look at some statistics. More than 90 people die in car accidents every day. Three million people suffer injuries from car accidents annually. And around two million car accidents lead to permanent injuries every year. Okay, County 911, what is your emergency? Uh, there's a multi-car accident out in front of my house. Four or five kids are still playing in ditches and streets. We have another child in the ditch. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We've got one lay on the road unconscious. They say he's breathing. With all the state and federal safety measures in place, with safety features being developed each year by car manufacturers, and with a constant stream of public service announcements raising awareness about road safety, why are these statistics still so high? So I can tell you that uh, it's been a problem for 15 years. Um, there have been times when we've had a track or we haven't had a track. Uh, we've had street racers both of those times. I, mean, I was heading back to school and college, going to Virginia, and on the way back, um, about like an hour and two, this man ran off the road. Uh, my car flipped five times. I was ejected from the sunroof, which I was thrown from 50 yards to 100 yards from my car. This is one of the worst we've ever seen. You can barely make out the types of vehicles mangled in the mess. When I began having problems of my own was when I got into a car accident. I used to, every single day from Monday to Monday, I used to go to nightclubs, then drinking, mixing things, and I got into a real bad accident. Non-fatal car accidents could easily leave victims traumatized for life if they don't find the help and healing that they desperately need. The loss of wages, chronic pain, permanent disabilities, and post-traumatic stress often rob victims of their quality of life and lead to depression and even more loss. Broken all my ribs, both punched both my lungs. Uh, uh, Escophagus uh, split in completely main artery. Had a stroke on my left side. Um, had full on the brain, bleeding on the brain. They told my mom, my brother, and them that um, I'm be that I, I didn't want, I want better to make it. Uh, they gave me 24 hours, 40 hours to live. And the doctors had told me that I was gonna have epilepsy. They found something in my brain because of that accident and some kind of clog or something, it caused epilepsy. He told me I had to drink certain medicines that I was gonna drink for life to control the epilepsy. However, I guess the medicines weren't working and I ended up having two attacks. And the doctors told me that I wasn't gonna able to walk back again. Even if I do um, surgery, they wouldn't like give me a 100% that I would come out okay. How can those who have already suffered injuries find healing and an even better quality of life than they had before? From there, I just started like getting 
only stayed at home, just being at home locked up. I didn't want to see anybody. I kept on having nightmares and, you know, when I would try to go to sleep. At this point, the, the problem hit me directly. It wasn't mainly my family problems. There wasn't anything around me. It was me. The problem was me. Bequan, Bianca, and Rose were all involved in car accidents, which led to severe physical illnesses. And each of them found God's supernatural healing. And those of you who would like the address to the Universal Church that is closest to you, you can call the helpline right now, and the counselors will gladly assist you with that address. I have names of those who've been calling the helpline asking for prayer. We have Brian from California. He wants to be set free from depression. He wants to be set free from mental illness. Brian, your name I'm placing inside of the holy oil. Miss Corina, she is asking prayer for strength. There was a family member who recently passed away. She is also asking prayer for peace. Miss Corina, your name is inside of the holy oil. We will be praying for you and for your loved ones as well. Miss Sheila, she is asking prayer for a breakthrough in her financial life for good health and for deliverance. And we also have Miss Sherry Burton from California as well. Her son has been battling with depression. She wants her son to be set free. Mrs. Burton, your name is inside of the holy oil. Those of you who are watching us through social media, whether it's through YouTube, through Facebook, you can feel free right now to leave your prayer request on the comments below. If you have something in specific you would like prayer for, write it down on the comments below. Take the link, share with a friend, with a loved one, so they can also take part of the prayer that Bishop Joshua will be making before the end of the program. Thank you very much, Nori. Now I have Mrs. Burton on the line. Hello. Hello. Miss Burton, God bless you, and he will bless you. Tell me what is your problem? Well, my problem now is I have um, kidney failure. And I've had cancer, but the cancer is gone. I got diabetes, and the diabetes, I put the recipe in my feet, so I have no feeling like in them. Okay. So I really, really need help. So you you have diabetes for how long? Ever since 1992. Okay. And you you have dialysis? Yes, three times a week. Okay. For how long? For how long? Yes. Um, 2008. So, and you have been sick for many, many years. I'll just say over mm -hmm. 20 yes. years, always battling with diseases. Yes. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Berta, let me tell you something. Okay. The problem that you are facing, they are not from God. They are not from God. As some people say, this is life or it is meant to be, but it is not. I am here today revealing what is behind people's problem. I mean, anybody can get sick, right? Yes. Because we are human beings. If you don't eat well, you don't rest well, you don't take care of your body, you are going to get sick. However... Mm -hmm. There are many people that they are from diseases to diseases. And this has been your case. Diabetes, cancer, kidney failure, high blood pressure, many other problems. The scripture says here that the evil one, the evil one does not come with something good, does not come with gifts. But it comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And these evil spirits are the ones that are destroy your life. The roots of diabetes, the roots of this infirmity, cancer, dialysis, kidney failure, 
The roots of these problems are evil spirits. Give me the three here, please. The roots of all your problems are evil. These are the roots of your problems. Do you understand uh, what I'm saying? Yes. But right now, I am going to uproot this evil. Can I do that? Thank you, God. Please. Okay. I place my hands here on this root. By faith, this is the root of your problem. Close your eyes right now. Close your okay. eyes. My God, I place my hands upon this root to uproot the evil spirit that is upon her life. So right now, evil spirit, the root of this kidney failure, high blood pressure, the root of this diabetes, in Jesus Christ's name, I uproot you and I command, get out from her life and never return. Miss Burton. Yes. I pronounce you healed, healthy, Thank you. and strong. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be waiting for your call. You are going to call me back with a beautiful testimony. Amen. Okay? Oh, amen. Stay on the line. Monique is going to get more information from you. In this ministry, we have the spiritual mentor. The mentor are the pastors that call people back. We follow up. This is not a play or a talk show. No, we do take care of people spiritually. And, Miss Berta, yes. you need a spiritual mentor. Okay? Thank you. Stay Thank on, you. Stay on the line. You are going to get one today. It is free. You don't need to pay anything. God bless you. Have a good one. Thank you very, very much. Amen. Bye-bye. I want to show to you right now what is a curse of tragedies. Maybe you say, my husband died. We just got married and my husband or my wife died. My spouse died. It is a curse that happened to you, unexpected tragedy. My husband was 27 years old when unexpectedly he died. And now my son died at the age of 27, too. Is it a coincidence? No. It is a curse. Yes. The young boy, my mom and dad died in a car accident. And years later, my brother also died in a car accident. Never say to me that this is life. Never say to me that this is a coincidence. It is an evil spirit. It has to be uprooted. Every one of them followed practical steps of faith that made them physically, emotionally, and spiritually whole. The Universal Church teaches these Bible-based steps that have transformed thousands of lives. No matter what the problem, sickness, or injury, we fight alongside you and strive to teach all of who are ready to use their faith to receive complete healing and transformation. My mom, she had used a blessed water every day on me. She physically, she had it, and she was knocking me down with it and she also what she do is she got a shirt it had my face up there she was knowing it down like every touch every part of my body she was touching I surprised everybody because the doctors and everybody said when I tell people what happened to me all the in injuries I had and stuff people were like wow and you know like so you just walking regular yeah, I'm walking regular you know I'm doing this on my own doing this on my own like you just had it just not too long ago I know but you know faith I began doing the chains of prayers. I began going on Tuesdays and Fridays. Eventually I was delivered from the sickness. I was cured. Um, I went back to the doctor. The doctor said everything was okay. I didn't have to take the medications anymore. Uh, they were praying for the healing. And I said, God, if you're really in this place and 
this man that is over there in the altar, if he's truly, if, if he's being honest on what he's saying, and if you're here, you're going to do the miracle on, on my life. So in fact, the same day, I was healed. Um, I started walking. Um, that heaviness, it went out. That same night, I had gone already many, many, many months, years without sleeping. That night, God showed me that He was there. And that was my very first night that I slept like a baby. I only woke up the next day. Perhaps you've never been involved in a car crash, but your life has turned into a collision course with destruction. Come to a universal church near you today to find real freedom through the power of faith. I know I'm cursed. I've been to several witch doctors hoping to be free, but my life only gets worse. What if I told you that you can be cleansed from envy, witchcraft, diseases, or any other problems that you're facing? Yes, it's possible. The presence of God can wash away all evil from your life. For it is written, who can stand when he appears? For he will be like a refiner's fire or a launderer's soap. Bring a new bar of soap to be consecrated this Friday to a universal church near you. Just as soap is able to cleanse, God will purify you from all evil. 7075 Southwest Freeway, Houston, Texas, 77074. Also at every universal church. Universal Church is open every day, seven days a week, in Texas, 7075 Southwest Freeway, Houston, Texas, 77074. You think you are going to leave a message? <laughs> this is a joke. A pastor's going to answer me? No way. People, let me show them. It's a life. Helpline. <laughs> Who is going to be willing to answer calls at this time? See right now, are real. You are reluctant to call. You know what? I'm gonna call. Single day. Perhaps it's not like someone is really going to answer. Work. You never call. Hello, this is the Shirt on Faith. How may I assist you? My Lord and my Father, in the name of your Son Jesus, right now, I mean The Showdown of Faith Helpline is filled with men and women of God ready to help and assist you. So I'm going to make a prayer right now for your family. Please close your eyes. Hi, this is the Showdown of Faith. How may I help you? When you call 1-888-332-4141, your name and prayer request will be written on a prayer card to be placed inside of the holy oil. The holy oil represents the presence of God. And when your name is submerged in the holy oil, the power of God will begin to work in your life. Call now to have your name and family member's name submerged in the holy oil. 1-888-332-4141. Those of you who have been watching and you haven't called yet, you can feel free to do so. I have more names of those who are continuing to call the helpline, also those who are leaving their prayer request through social media. We have Mrs. Bertha. She spoke with Bishop Joshua not too long ago. Your name, your prayer request I'm placing here inside of the holy oil. We have Mr. Jeffrey. He is asked in prayer for complete and total healing. He also wants his family to be restored. He says there's a lot of confusion, separation, division, and he wants that to change. We also have Robert from North Carolina. He is asked in prayer for his marriage to be restored, to be blessed. Mr. Robert and those mentioned, your names are inside of the holy oil. We have Mrs. Thomas. She left her prayer request on our YouTube page. She is asking on behalf of her son for the blockages to be removed from his finances, his love life, but above all, his spiritual life. We also have Stephanie. She is asked in prayer for her family, for her daughter who is in the hospital, and for her fiance. She wants their relationship to be blessed. Many people are calling, are sending their prayer requests through text message. If you want to text right now, or if you have a question for Bishop Joshua, you can text it to 1 888 
312 -4141, as you can see on your screen right now. You can send in your pictures, the pictures of your loved ones as well. If you're watching us through, you, through Facebook, you can also leave your comments on uh, below, down below. That way we can keep you and your loved ones in prayer. But right now, let us go to the helpline. Bishop Joshua is there with someone who needs help. Bishop Joshua. That's right. I'm here. The crew is busy talking to so many people that I need of spiritual help. You can count on us. Call us right now. I have you here with Pastor Roger, Mr. Roy. And let me talk to him. Hello. Hello, sir. Mr. Roy, Mr. Roy, how are you? I am uh, okay now that I'm speaking to you. Okay. Tell me what is your problem and how can I help you? Sir, I am having a, a mental breakdown. I am... Uh, thinking that people are going to hurt me, people are going to kill me, and that um, I don't trust anybody. I get paranoid, and I I am just, just depressed, and I used to serve the Lord. Mr. Roy, I'm sorry to cut you off. Let me tell you something. The problem that you have, this is spiritual attack, you are watching me right now, this is spiritual attack are uh, the root of all problems. As I am saying, the evil spirits are the root of your problems. Mr. Roy and everybody that is facing the same problem. You have people against you. Your enemies are not human beings. Your enemies are evil spirits. This addiction, insomnia, anxiety, depression... These are all the evils that are attacking you. Do you understand, Mr. Roy? Yes, and I agree with you. Okay, why do you agree with me? Because I have seen that there is no human that can help me, or that my, my, my problem is not, um, it's, a, it's a spiritual, it's, a, it's spiritual, and it's, a, and it's a spiritual warfare. And I understand that completely, that the, that the enemy is in the problem. You also told me that you used to serve the Lord. Yes, I served the Lord wholeheartedly for 10 years, and, and, I, and I obeyed him, and it was an awesome experience. And I backslid, and now I am facing the consequences. And God is still having mercy upon me. And because I saw your show, you guys are honest and truth and powerful. And you guys are the only one giving me hope to continue to see. Okay, let me tell you something, Mr. Roy. Let us forget about the past. I know that 10 years you have backs lighted. You are no longer serving the Lord. You said you are paying the consequences because Satan always sends the bill. But I want you to move forward. I want you to be delivered. Where are you calling us from? Where do you live? Crystal City, Texas. Okay, we are going to be uh, uh, helping you. I have here this pastor, Pastor Rogers, and he's going to be on the line with you, give you the steps, and I want you to come to see me. Okay, yes, I, I want to be seen by you, yes. Okay, so Pastor Rogers, can you make arrangement for him to see me? Yes, sir. When? Today. Okay, Mr. Roy, I'm going to see you today, okay? Yes, sir. If you are in need of spiritual help, you need to uproot this evil from your life, just give us a call right now. It is a live show. Pastors, pastors' wives, they are here to help you, to assist you. Just give us a call. The number is there, one 332 4141 Give us a call. We have assistants. We have counselors, people that are anointed to assist you. In a few, I'm going to pray for all of you. If you get a busy signal, do not stop calling. Pastor Tobias, who do you have? Pastor Anita, Vishu. What's her problem? She has a financial difficulty and also her health. Miss Anita? Yes. I am going to pray for you. You are going to have this financial breakthrough and the Lord is going to heal you. All right? Okay. 
Financial breakthrough and the Lord is going to heal you. Do you hear me? I hear you. Yes, sir. Okay, stay on the line. Where do you live? I'm in Florida. Florida. So, Pastor Tobias, can you make arrangements for her to see a pastor in Florida? Yes, Bishop, I can do that right now. So, Miss Anita, you are going to mm -hmm. see a pastor in Florida today, okay? Okay. If you are in need of spiritual help, you need God to assist you, give us a call right now. The Spirit of the Lord is going to bless your life. She needs a financial breakthrough. There is one way for you to have a financial breakthrough. Which way? By making a pact with God. Show me the ark over here, please. When you make a covenant with God, when God goes ahead of you, there is no evil that can stand your way because the ark is the symbol of the covenant. Yes, the symbol of the covenant. When you make a pact with God, this God blesses your life. You are going to call us to make this pact with the Lord. In the past, the people of God were far from God. The Hebrew slaves needed a liberator, and most importantly, to reconcile with God. After the exodus from Egypt on Mount Sinai, God gave Moses the tablets of God's law and the mission of the construction of the tabernacle and of the Ark of God's Pact. The people needed to understand that in order to be free, they needed to change their way of thinking and to make a pact with God. The Ark is a symbol of God's covenant with mankind. It represents God's power always going ahead in battle. Through this pact with God, the people of Israel began to overcome in life. When we look at the Ark of the Testimony, it reminds us that the miracles that God did in the past are real. And that new and even greater things will happen in the life of those who make a pact with God. If you are fed up of having your life marked by problems, decide today to make a pact with God. When you sow your seed of $50 or more, you will receive a small replica of the ark that represents God's pact. To know more on how to make a pact with God and receive your own ark replica, call 1-888-691-2291. God is going to open the ways for you. God will go ahead of you. Once the ark goes ahead of you, it is going to be God himself going ahead of you. The ark, look at the ark, please. The ark is the spiritual tool. The tool of God that will go ahead of you. So right now, Call to make a pact with God, with the Lord. I have here the Bible. This is the study Bible. The Bible of the Universal Church. The Bible that I read on the pulpit, in my office, also here on the program. And here it states, I want you to read it together with me. The Lord said, I will go before you. And make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces. God's talking about the obstacles. The gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures. Look here, please. I'll give you treasures, which means God has treasures. For you, I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. So there is something hidden from you. There is something hidden from you, like your money, the money that is tied up, the court case, God is going to deliver to you. God wants to set you free from all your debts. He wants you to be that free.
call me right now and make a pact with God. The number for the call is over there. one 691 Call this number to make a pact with God, with the Lord. In a few, I'm going to go to the helpline to talk to those who wants to make a pact with God this, this day. I want to talk to you who want to make a pact with God. A pact that will bless your day, that will bless your week, that will bless your month. 50% is your part. The other fifth symbolizes God's part. Make a pact with God. 55th, you are going to sow the seed of $50 or more. There is no minimum, no maximum. Seed is what you have to give. But go ahead and sow the seed of $50 or more. The Lord is going to bless you, prosper you, and open the ways. This is for those who want to have a financial breakthrough. Christopher made a pact with God. The Lord blessed the life of Christopher when he made a pact with the Lord. Call us right now. Let's go. Let's go. Call us right now and make this pact with God. The same God who blessed Christopher is going to bless your life. I never had a problem having a job or holding down a job, but I always had a problem um, by living in a budget. When I wanted to go out to eat somewhere, um, my friend and I would always have to just push pennies together and just eat from the dollar menu. When I first started dating, I couldn't really take my girlfriend out to a nice place to eat. We had to share the bill together. I definitely felt very embarrassed and very annoyed at myself that I couldn't provide unless I decided to do something about it, unless I decided to make a choice coming through the Universal Church and through the services and through the word that was given. And all the instructions were just there. I, the, the guidelines that I needed to take, the steps I needed to take to be successful financially and to want the blessings that God could give me, I, it was all just about obeying and taking action. And I did. I took that action. And as a result, I received blessings more than I could comprehend. Now I can go out to a fancy restaurant and not be worried about what the price is. Now we go to places every year. We're already planning to go into Europe on our next trip. And I don't see any limit to seeing anywhere because now God provides that for us. I don't regret sowing the seed. Um, I, Every day, uh, I'm always grateful and glad and excited and happy that I made the decision. You are going to receive the Ark, the Ark of the Covenant. We have reserved some Arks. You are going to receive one right now when you call and sow the seed. We have somebody to sow the seed. Pastor Rod, who do you have there? I have here, Miss Anne. Hello, Miss Anne. Hi. God Be bless you, you, Miss Anne. You are God doing a pact with God, right? Yeah, I'm going on um, showing a seed okay. uh, could I, um, to get the, the ark. I'm going to send you the ark even today. Since you are doing your part, what do you want God to do for you? I want um, God to, um, I want upliftment, breakthrough, and prosperity. Breakthrough and prosperity. It is going to be done. Miss Anne, in a few, we are going to pray together, okay? Okay. This ark that I have here, I'm going to send it to you, Miss Anne. God bless you. God bless you. Have a good one. 1888. It's a different number for the seed, for the ark. Let me show the number to the viewers right now. It is 1888 691 2291. You are going to call this number 
and you are going to sow your seed. We have here the counselors ready to receive your call. Sow a seed as people are doing, and you are going to see the result in your life. The Ark of the Covenant is a holy and sacred object. It represents the presence of God. When you enter into a 50-50 covenant with God, where 50% depends on you and the other 50% depends on God, He will go ahead of you and will not allow anything to stand before you, just as it happened in the past. I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. To receive a replica of the ark in your home, follow these steps. Step one, decide to make a 50-50 pact with God. Step two, reserve your replica of the ark by calling 1-888-691-2291. Or by sending your letter to 7075 Southwest Freeway, Houston, Texas, 77074. When sending your check or money order, always write it under the name of the Universal Church. Step three, when you receive the ark, pray with it in the midst of your home every morning and night. The Ark of the Covenant, the presence of God ahead of you. I am here from the helpline, the Ark of the Covenant. Let me show the ark here. This ark symbolizes God's presence. Once God goes ahead of you, he makes the crooked place straight for you, and he does bless your life. Pastor Quincy, who is on the line? I have you, Miss Faliad Bishop. Okay, you can talk to this person. Is, is this person making a vow, a covenant? Yes, so she's making a covenant. Go ahead, please. Hi, Miss Faliad. Yes. Tell me, what would you like God to do in your life since you are sowing your seed, you are making this covenant today? Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay. And Bishop Joshua is going to make this prophecy for you right now. For you to receive. As you are making this pact with God. His Spirit shall come upon you. Amen. She just made a vow with God. And the Lord is going to bless her life. He wants to bless you as well. The number to call. Let me show you once again. Call this number to make a pact with God. 1-888-691-2291. So the seed, the Lord is going to bless your life. Uh, Rafaela, who do you have? Miss Berlin. Miss Berlin. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello, Miss Berlin. Hello? You are making a pact with God today? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Where are you calling us from? I'm Patterson, New Jersey. Parks on New Jersey. Right. She's getting your information. And we need your address to send you the ark. We already have her address? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We are going to send it to you, Miss Burley, the ark even today. Okay? Okay. Okay. Stay on the line for the prayer. All right. God bless you. In this ministry, we have many outreach work. That is the spiritual work, but the social work. That is called unisocial. When you sow the seed, you bless yourself and you bless somebody else. This is now the moment for you to give. You are more blessed when you give than when you receive. If you want to help somebody that is in prison, let me show to you. The work we do in prison. When you sow the seed, you are going to help me to help those who are in prison. You are going to donate a Bible. A Bible study. The same Bible that I use. These Bibles that we are going to distribute in prison. For those who are in prison. You see this video? That's when I went to prison to donate Bibles for the inmates. All of them, you see them line up, receiving the Bible. We go to male and female prison. 
And when you donate a Bible, we go to prison, also to the houses. You are going to see now the case of this family. Last year, this mother, she's also a grandmother, she called us for a Bible. Somebody donated the Bible. I sent the bishop to her house to give a Bible. And now her children, grandchildren, are coming out of prison. Donate a Bible. Go ahead and donate a Bible. This number is the number for you to call. Donate a Bible. 1 888 691 2291. With a gift offering of 113, you are going to sponsor a Bible. $113. That is going to help us to help those who are in prison, behind the bars. But now let us see the case of this family. These are the work of the Universal Church. Our ministry works nonstop. And when we say less talk and more power, we mean it. Mrs. Brown has been seeing many changes in her life through the power of God. She first called us in April 2020. Mrs. Brown, tell me what is your problem? Well, I believe I'm suffering from depression and anxiety. And uh, I need prayer for that. And also, I have swelling in uh, both of my knees like arthritis, and then I had the high blood pressure. Then I have a daughter and a son and a granddaughter in prison. Hold on, hold on. So you said your I, son is in prison, and who else? And my daughter and my granddaughter. Granddaughter. So you have three family members in prison. Tell me, how old is your son? My son is 49, and my daughter is 58, and my granddaughter is 30. So we are talking about uh, children and grandchildren in prison. I am going to pray for your, uh, for your health, and this depression, anxiety will go away. Do they have any addiction? Do your children have My son is 49. He was framed for murder. And my daughter, she went for a violation because she, she's a drug addict. And my granddaughter was in. She both, they both went drug addicts. Let me tell you something. The problem in this family of yours, this problem is a curse. There is a curse inside of this family of yours. This curse of imprisonment, this curse that is put your whole family in prison. If we do not stop this curse, many others will go to prison as well. But we are going to put a full stop in this curse. God will set your son, daughter, granddaughter free, even though they are inside of prison, I don't know their sentence, but God will set them free inside of themselves so that when they leave prison, they are going to be different people. As promised, Bishop Taylor went to her house to give Bibles for her and her three children. So we traveled from Dallas a little over a hundred miles to bring the Bibles here for Miss Brown's children. And so what pleasure, just as Bishop Joshua had promised in this ministry, we keep our word and we encourage all of you to also donate as someone donated these Bibles. Miss Brown, also you said that you'll be donating for someone else. Yes, yes, I am. Uh -huh. And we thank you who are uh, sponsoring the Bibles. And I do believe that when her children and grandchildren, her son, daughter, and granddaughter receives the, this word of God, 
that the power of God will work to transform their lives because the Word of God is what changes lives. Shortly after her visit, she called us back with great news. You said you are no longer depressed. No, I'm not depressed and I can sleep at night and I, uh, my swelling is out of, gone out of my legs completely and I don't have any pain. High blood pressure left me too. When I and say here there is less talk and more power, this is what we do. You called that day, you had depression, high blood pressure, insomnia, God worked in your life. Your family now is my family. I'm going to take care and fight for your family. Okay. God bless you. Have a good one. But that was just the first of many wonders in her life. Her granddaughter was granted parole and was finally released from prison. A few months after her daughter's release, her children were blessed to see the glory of God. I have received this Bible. Be a great blessing in my life. And I'd like to thank you and encourage everyone else you know, to donate Bibles to bless someone else. I would like to say thank you for the donation. I know it'll be a great help for my for my spirituality, and I'm grateful. I'm glad to be home, and I'm just I'm just grateful to God for for everything, all the prayers, all the um, everything that everybody have prayed for me. My mother told me she had me. Everybody praying for me. Uh, on every channel of the TV. So I'm just, I'm just blessed and grateful. And thank you so much. Just as Mrs. Brown has seen God's power in her life, you can too. We are all about less talk and more power. With pleasure, I showed to you what God did in this family. The Bible is the word of the Lord. Call us and sow the seed, your seed of 113. If you need, I send this Bible directly to you with your gift offering. However, you already have a Bible, do you? Anyway, call us and we are going to donate in prison. You have a son, a daughter, husband, wife in prison. Very well. From here... I am going to send to that person in any state a Bible. Call us and donate a Bible in the same way. This family will be blessed by receiving the Bible. You too can be blessed. Prayer is our communication with God. You watch the testimonies. You heard the word. But now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer. In life we have so much pain. Lord and my Father, God of the Bible, this mother Hazel, like many other mothers, are in pain, crying. They were disappointed by their children. Lord Jesus Christ, this day shall not end without the transformation upon this family. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the one that can transform this family. Lord, let it be done right now. Let this family be transformed. There is this mother crying day and night. She can't sleep because her baby is in a cage in jail. There is this person feeling pain, anxiety right now. Inside of this hospital, dying day by day. She feels her life dripping away. Lord, 
enter this life right now. One more accident happened, and it became part of her life, because this person is from diseases to diseases, always call accidents, accidents that happens in his workplace. Oh, Holy Spirit, I rebuke this curse, the curse of accidents. Lord, set this person free. Give it peace. One hand, Satan came to steal, kill, and destroy. But on the other hand, you came to give life, and life more abundantly. So Holy Spirit, give an abundant life to this person right now. There is this person crying. Cry non-stop because somebody in the family passed away. Holy Spirit, come to comfort this family. Comfort this person who lost a loved one. Lord Jesus, bless our country. Protect our country. Help these people to know you. Lord, I rebuke all evil. This cancer, sugar, diabetes coronavirus, high blood pressure, Lord Jesus, heal this person from all diseases. I present to you this water. Let them drink and be refreshed by your power inside of this water. My God, I ask you, do your part in the life of this person that has done his part by sowing the seed, making a pact with you, even before the ark comes to this person's house, I want your presence to start moving everything around. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Praise God. Amen. The water is the power of God. All that you need to do, hey, hey, is to believe. I know you do have gallons and gallons and liters of water over there. But this water we just prayed is God's power inside of you. All that you need to do is to trust in Him. Trust in the Lord and you are going to see His power in your life. God bless you. YouTube channel, Showdown of Faith TV. And tune in Monday through Friday at 5 a.m. Central Time, 6 a.m. Eastern to watch a show of less talk and more power that teaches you how to fight against your problems with life transformation stories, prayers for you and your family, and a word of faith. What are you waiting for? Subscribe today and don't miss any of our programs.